Ladies and gentlemen, I am Savich. I stream Battlegrounds five days a week. Sometimes six days a week. I got this good feeling when I heard this morning that we are gonna have a massive patch tomorrow. Oh my god. I feel like the current version is gonna beat them to death. So we have a huge patch coming tomorrow. So that's great news for all Battlegrounds fans. It's gonna be 37 new units. New keyword, Avenge, that does something after a friendly minion dies. 37, replacing, just take note chat, so they don't just get added. And a lot of the old units have been removed, but don't worry, the favorites are still like, almost all of them are still there, like they remove the uninteresting units. Let's take a look at that really quickly, just like what units are out, it's at the end of the page. So like Fiendish Servant, Vulcar, like no one is gonna miss this, nobody's gonna miss this chat. Like, if you look at those five or something, nobody's gonna miss those. Back leader, kindly grandmother, steward of time, like... Like, these are just, like, pretty shitty. Here, like, maybe you like Iron Sensei, but, like, it's getting replaced by a better version of, like, a buffing unit, so... Yeah. Tide Razor, Lieutenant Gar. Faceless is gone, so no golden uh, units with Faceless anymore. Alright, but let's go back to the start of the page and uh, let's go through these which actually we can just watch the video too before you do we made a few fundamental changes we're gonna make you aware of all right we added a damage cap of 15 damage until the first player dies so you don't get one shot in anymore chat in the beginning at least if there's one boat and like no one has died you will only take 15 so but then when the first player dies everything will be normal and then we've also increased the turn timer so there's f extra five seconds on turns three to nine and uh so okay i don't know how you guys feel about this but the developers explicitly on twitter said that this is not necessarily gonna be like final they might like uh, reduce it or they might increase it even more like this this might not be permanent so if you see like if you feel like Oh, the game rounds are too long now or something. You can let them know and, like, stuff. So they, they might take it out or they might take it longer. Like, it's it's up for, like, a... It will see. Because now, at least it's in the beginning, the increase will help. So when you, like, reading new cards, when you're learning the new cards, new units, chat, when you're reading through them, you don't just, like, rope out, you know? Everyone will start fresh, so... We will, uh... There will be a reset! Yay! Been a long season, so all right. Let's just watch this. Might as well. Time to debrief. How do I attract these minions to words? Super powers. Suit up. It's go time. You are a force to be reckoned with. Embrace the fires of vengeance, insect. Is what I call an upgrade. Face Bob! Oh my god. You have unlocked your true potential. Fuckers! Alright. General updates. Battleground specific keyword added. Avenge does something after X friendly minions die. Um, Dark Moon prices are disabled. Okay, that's good. We don't need that extra hassle right now when we're learning the new units and stuff. Um, reset, we already like went through that, blah blah blah. Uh, if you have the perks, you will get the new heroes more often. Alright, let's move on to the new heroes. Master Nien. At the start of every turn, choose from two new hero bar. Wow, so you get a new hero bar every turn. That's pretty crazy if you get like Reno. I mean, obviously you will have to use it immediately, which you might not get like perfect value from, but like, if you get those like once per game. Uh, Cariel Rome, this is the other new hero, there were two new heroes. Conviction, give a random friendly minion plus one, plus one. And then when you level to three, it will become better. It will become Conviction rank two. So once you hit level three, you will start buffing three random friendly minions plus one, plus one. I'm getting a little bit of like, what's the, what was the hero? Uh, Tyrion Fortring vibes from this. It's kind of like Tyrion, right? It's very like Tyrion-like. Tyrion-esque hero. It doesn't, it doesn't do the tri thing, thing, but it feels very similar. I wouldn't be surprised if the animation was the same, too. Conviction. Uh, and then when you level to tier 5, then you will be buffing 5 random friendly minions. That's pretty spicy. 
This thing can be anything, right? So, but I mean, it's kind of like it's like half a light fang, so it, it this isn't like too crazy, I guess. I think it's gonna be at its strongest at like tier three, and if you have units that are go well, and then if you have units, there were like a new unit jet. Um, let me show you. There was a new unit. I'm gonna be skipping a little bit, but there's a new unit which is like a was at five, uh, six stars. Hold on, this one. After a friendly elemental gain stats, gain plus one, plus one. So if you have like, if you're playing elementals and you have master of realities, you will get like double the value, right? You get like plus ten, plus ten, because this gets plus five, plus five, and then you get those buffs too. But yeah, this is like, this is pretty like. It's like, okay, I'm not like super excited about this one. This, however, this will be really spicy. This is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be a YouTube hero for sure. I will be picking this. Even if it turns out that, okay, like it's not the best and it's too hard to use sometimes. And I will still be picking this all the time. I will also pick this early because it's just because it's new. But I mean, how crazy can this really be? Maybe we'll find good synergies with it, but yeah. Once the game has gone long enough, it's just like plus five plus five is like just not that amazing. Uh, players with the perks will have early access. So if you have perks, you will be able to play them immediately tomorrow. If you don't have perks, you will need to wait for two weeks. Uh, new minions. So there's going to be a lot of these. New minion cost beast. Uh, uh, give a friendly beast plus two plus two and this is a turtle. Okay, so first of all, it's a three three, which is like, okay. But then that ability, if it, if it buffs at least once, it will be a 5-5. Five, five. So this fights pretty well early on, chat. And remember, when that unit dies, it buffs again. I mean, it's a 2-star. It's nothing too crazy. It doesn't. Have, it's not a permanent buff. But it's kind of cool. Definitely more interesting than some of the like previous beasts that were in the game. Sewer Lab. Dead Trail, summon a 2-3 turtle with taunt. Okay, so this is a basically a 2-star 5-5, five, five, guys, early on. So this might this is gonna be a unit that you buy with any any strategy early on. Because you get a 2-star 5-5. Five, five. Um There might there was some like B strategies where like uh, and with the new mechanic with the Avenge. Uh, with the Avenge mechanic, like, this will be two bodies. And so you can have this attack first, and then it dies. And then your opponent will attack this. So this will be a nice Avenge synergy card. And it's a 5-5 five, five for two stars. So I think we're going to see a lot of this. It's not going to be in the in the final lineups of players. Like, players are not going to have this at the end of the game, necessarily. But it will help Avenge, and it will be good stats for the cost. We are going to see Sewer Rat. Um, bird body, three stars. Uh, give your beast. Okay, so avenge is whenever a unit dies. So this is just whenever a unit dies, you get plus one, plus one on your beasts. So imagine with like rat back. Oh my god, it's gonna be very interesting. Cause like I don't know, it's hard to evaluate how the flow of the game is gonna be with the with beasts. But is it a one time proc? It is not. It is not. You can get it multiple times, so it's gonna keep buffing. Beast dies, buff. Beast dies, buff. Beast dies, buff. So like, it could be good, but it's obviously not permanent. Because it happens. Like, any buffs that happen during combat are not permanent in this game. There might be some like, exceptions where cards specifically say that it will be permanent, but it will not be permanent. Reanimating Rattler. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting to try out the beast. This will depend on like the power of beasts overall. Battlecry, give a friendly beast reborn. Okay, so beasts die and then something happens. That's like the running theme here, right? Beasts are beasts die and then something happens. Beasts die and something happens. Like either buffs or a beast comes back. So this could be pretty interesting with like Goldrin, you know? Reborn Goldrin is pretty disgusting, chat. Like you can have this is gonna be very like standard gameplay to have this. Will it have it the rest of the game? Yes, it will. It will have it for the rest of the game. That's really spicy. Because <laughs> like because this battle cry happens outside of combat. If this was a death rattle, give a friendly beast reborn, it would not be them permanent because the buff happens during fight, but this will give a Goldrin like permanent. Reborn. It's gonna be pretty spicy, chat. Pale scale crocolisk. 
Avenge to and death shall give another friendly beast plus six plus six. Give another friendly beast plus twelve plus twelve. So avenge was when two things die. So this is just gonna be like a lot of it's just a lot of buffs, guys. Oh my god. The whole beast like tribe is gonna be feel completely different. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be much stronger. If you felt beasts are weak, because I don't think beasts even lost any like significant units. Like what did beasts lose? Weirman sensei. Uh infested wolf, like the beasts that are out, backleader, well backleader was kinda okay, I guess, but like this is gonna be very good for beasts, chat. Problem with beasts is the same as death rolls, there's no room on the board, yeah. You will have to be smart about like how, how to have uh, how to try to have room. But yeah, beasts are looking pretty good. Let's go to demons. Death rattle, give this minion. Minions maximum health to a friendly minion. So it starts as 2-2, two, two, and then like the golden version is 4 health, but it's also a give it to the minion twice. Pyramid, anyone? Chat? Pyramid? So you have Pyramid with this, and then you buff, buff, buff like six turns, and then you defend their Fargusit or something, and make it golden. <laughs> but mostly it's just like a, it's like a one, one cost 2-2 two, two that like, gain plus two health when it dies. It's pretty interesting. But yeah, this is not permanent, it's just like during the fight, so... It's kind of like Servant, but it's like better. It's like a better... Let's just think about it. That's a better Servant chat. Servant was bad. Servant was only buffing attack. This buffs health. Buffing health is usually better. And it's also a 2-2 instead of 2-1. So Servant got replaced with this. This is more better. Death Rattle. Summon two imps. Okay. So that's a one star. 3-3. Three, three. And remember chat. With Juggler. With uh, Big Fernal. Big Fernal. This is like pretty good, you know. So you're gonna get a lot of like, during fight, you can swarm the board with some imps. And also with Avenge chat, with the new Avenge mechanic where lots of units need to die. Well, there's Icky Imp for you. One star, so it's easy to get. You get it early on. Like with that and for example, like this, there was a neutral unit. I'm bouncing a little bit, but it's okay. We'll return to that. There was a new unit, this one. Avenge tree, give adjacent minions plus two plus one permanently. So like, if you have this guy and then you have a bunch of those imps, you can have this go off multiple times in the same fight. Now, there's of course the chance that the body in green thumb gets attacked and then it dies, so then you don't get the buffs. But still, like, the generally the idea of having death rattle like that, where you have lots of units, uh, is very good for this unit. If this doesn't die, then like, it just buffs like crazy. Just get, getting it off two times with this, this type of units is totally realistic. Alright. Impatient Doomsayer. Tier 3. Avenge 3. There's another like an Avenge unit, so... Add a random demon to your hand. Oh man. With the Icky Imps and Impatient Doomsayer. Like, you could get a bunch of demons. Playing just like full demons is gonna be... I'm not gonna say good, but it's gonna be interesting to try out. It's also, this is 6 health chat, that's worth noticing. So, with 6 health, if you get this early, it's very likely it does not die uh, when it gets attacked one time. So it can survive an attack. Because with some of the other Avenge units, they're like 3 health and then, okay, well, it died before before it, the effect happened. But on this one, like it's very likely, if it, even if it gets attacked once, it still lives and you get the Avenge. One thing that sucks about this, it's not a demon by itself, so that makes that's always like makes it a little bit worse. And like getting a random demon, like sometimes the random demon might not be that strong. Kira Luker, thank you for the 37 months. Okay, a new Malganis. <laughs> yeah. Your other demons have plus three attack. Your hero is immune. Oh, Savage! That's just a bad Malganis. No, it's actually a good Malganis. It only lost two plus two plus two, but now it's like a well, okay, they don't get health, they get plus 3 attack. But it's a 4-star unit, that's the most important thing. It's a 4-star unit. So you get it a little earlier, and your imps... Hello, Icky Imp. Like, maybe 3 one ones is not that good, but how about 3 four ones? 3 four ones sounds pretty good. That's a nice combo. It's a nice combo, you spawn these one ones, and then suddenly they have teeth. Because of this. I don't think it's gonna be like OP or anything, but it's kinda cute. And the, uh, yeah, the 4 star just makes it more like accessible. Alright, 
New cool unit. Taunt. After you play your demon, consume a minion in Bob's Tavern to gain its stats. Wow. So when you, you're probably at five stars when you get this. So it's going to be like an average. I, I think it's going to be like plus four, plus four maybe. Plus three, plus three, plus three, plus four, something like that. So you get like seven-ish stats for like free whenever you, you play your demon. Now, I don't really think that this unit is going to be like worth playing just like by itself if you're not playing demons chat i think it's mostly like if you're already playing demons and you have like other demon synergy i think it's not worth the gold by itself but it's really cool i like this type of like units that grow if you think about like i don't know like a razor core or something like this probably gets like same type of stats but it just works a little different pretty sweet i'm excited to try that out after you play a minion because I, it's it has to be random. I, I can't imagine like a targeting arrow like or targeting thing popping up like just w based on how the UI works. Chat just based on how the UI works. I would be almost I'm like ninety nine percent sure that this is, will be just happen immediately and randomly. It will. Con I'm, 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 I think it's a consumes a random one almost certainly. All right. Famished fell bat. I mean, the thing about this that's a better better than uh, than Razor God in some ways might be that it doesn't say once per turn, chat. So if you play like three demons, you will consume three random units. Or what if you have two of these and you play three demons? Then like you get three buffs on both of them. Like, it's pretty good. That's pretty sweet. I like that. All right. And then the new six star demon. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Famished Felbat. At the end of your turn, each friendly demon consumes a minion in Bob's Tavern to gain its stats. So it's this effect, but then it's like uh, <laughs> every demon does it. Every demon goes nom nom. So again, like this really supports that you are like playing full demons. It's not really a unit that you want to play in like non demon deck, but if the average stat is like plus three, plus four chat, that's that's pretty competitive. Like that's competitive with with uh, Kalegos, chat. Because like Kalegos with four battle cries would be f plus four plus four. So this would be like plus four plus four for everyone. Of course, like you don't have an Adina, so like this might be more stats than Kalegos for full demons. But you don't have the access to Nadina, so it's still gonna be a top four comp. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a top four. But the poison is more difficult to get, chat. So we will get to that in a little bit. Because Toxifin was removed, so there's less poison. But yeah, these are this is like the, a new cool thing, like eating Bob's units, basically. And uh, if, if the poison is not that easy to get, like this could be pretty damn nice going full demons. And remember, like Battle Master chat, Battle Master starts with very high health, so you will get like a you will get to like a really some beefy boys. So bees are looking really exciting. Demons are looking really exciting. How about Max? Let's check out Max. Pop pot. Divine shield. One star, two one divine shield. Okay. Um for menagerie stuff, I guess this could be like an early, like a pretty nice divine shield and like you know, like Arm of the Empire strategies. Because <laughs> you can have like an easy, easy like a uh, divine shield. And there's more Divine Shield synergies. I mean, there's not too much to say about this, but besides Max, like, the Divine Shield with buffs could be good for, like, a Menagerie build. All right, Mechano Tank. Avenge 2. So that is after two units die. It's a little bit like an interesting anti-synergy because, like, Divine Shield makes your unit live, right? So you have, like, less control over units dying. So, like, Avenge on a mech is kind of interesting, but I guess it makes it so that you can play it with, like, other stripe units. And sure, like, this will die eventually, too. It's just you have less control over when your units die when you have Divine Shield. So, deal damage to highest health minion. This is such a weird one, because, like, you don't want to deal the damage to the highest health minion. You want to deal to the lowest one, because you want to kill units with this. Like, what, what does 6 damage do on something that has 20 health? Like, nothing really, like, especially in late game. So, this is, like, a temporary unit. This might be good early, Avenge 2. Maybe you play with Ratback, chat. Maybe you play this with Ratback on, on turn 5 or something. That's pretty good on turn 5 with Ratback. But it's also like 3 health. Uh, I, I don't really like see myself necessarily like... 
Well, I guess they can remove divine shields. And like, if you buff it, you give it a module and... Uh, I don't know, I don't know, it's like, it's a weird one. It's gonna be exciting to try out and see how good it is. Hard to evaluate. Cree spot. Alright, this one is not hard to evaluate. This one is good. So we may have lost Iron Sensei that doesn't buff anymore, but this one buffs. After a friendly minion loses Divine Shield, give it plus two, plus one permanently. Oh! You have your, like, uh, your Divine Shield units lined up. You got, like, whatever, Deflectobots and... And like two ones and every turn, like you might realistically like with module and stuff, you could have like three or four divine shield units, chat. It's also a mech by itself. A lot of these like synergy units that we've seen so far have been like give your like mechs benefits, but then it's not a mech by itself. And also remember, chat, this 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 is this doesn't say that it only buffs mechs. So if you have like bronze warden. You can buff the Divine Shield on that. You can buff Bronze Warden permanently. If you get this early. You can use this temporarily. Very, very spicy unit. I love these, like, permanent buffs. Um, yeah, this is just great. Um, and with George the Fallen. Oh my god! Playing this with George. Wow, you can just buff every... Oh my god, that's so good. That's so good with George. Extra buffs. It's like a free buff every turn. We need to let's take a look. What are their mechs like? Was Deflectobot or any mech removed with shield? Iron Sensei is gone. Nope, Deflecto is still in. What about the module? Yep, module is still in too. Junkbot is removed. Wow. So yeah, like that, that this is one of my like one of my like favorite. The way it works is just like it's such a like value unit, you know? And I like playing Divine Shields already, even like before, so. Let's do it. After a friendly... Okay. Holy mackerel. Five stars. Okay, chat. I'm gonna keep the crease spot here. So you guys can, like, look at it. Holy mackerel. After another friendly minion loses divine shield, gain divine shield. So, technically, holy mackerel could, like, might lose its divine shield, like, two times. Even three times per fight. So we could give it, like, plus six, plus three. Mechs are scaling, ladies and gentlemen. Mechs are gonna be scaling this game. 8-4. I like the flavor. It's like the same stats as the Holy Makarel was. It is a big deal that it does not begin the fight with Divine Shield. You also can't like poison it, so it's not gonna be like OP like the Murloc Makarel was. Because it, it's just, it, you, it's only like, you can only buff it so much, you know? But it's really cool, like that's gonna be fun. What you do with this is you're gonna have like Deflectobot attack first and then this attack second and then you have like module unit with like, you know, like microbots and stuff and then it's just like, it's gonna be pretty spicy. Deflect the first and then this second and then it's gonna like lose the shield. And yeah, 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 it's gonna be like this. All right, Omega Buster. Mech, Deathrill, summon six microbots. For each that doesn't fit, give your mechs plus one, plus one. Okay, but this is a six-star unit. How good is this? So these are temporary buffs. This will reset the Deflector, but do you want to get the microbots or do you want to get? Do you want to get the buffs? I mean, if you're playing like full max, I guess buffs are pretty good. You're almost never gonna like. You're probably not very often gonna just get six microbots. But I mean, I I think this is probably a good unit. But it's a six-star. It's it's. I'm not like immediately like convinced that this is the next big thing. I mean, it might be really good. It's got cost, yeah. When you get this from Cast Coiler, oh god, did they remove Cast Coiler? I should have had. I should have had like the, the removed cards on like a separate tab. Um, Cast Coiler is still in. Mutrax Malgan is faceless. Yeah. Alright. But yeah, we'll see how it is. But it's not immediately clear that this will be like the next big thing. I, I, we'll, we'll see. Um, something worth noticing, chat, is that it seems like they added more tier 6 units in general. There was like... A tier 6 demon and tier 6 this and tier 6 that. This is another tier 6. 
So the amount of six drops in the game, because there's only two removed, so there's going to be like five added or something. So getting the exact one will be more difficult than in the past. So yeah, I mean, it's probably like okay, but it's nothing too crazy. But when you're going for like full Murloc build, I suppose you'd rather have two of these than let's say two of like, you know, like war leaders or something. Because war leader is, tem uh, is a temporary buff, but this will be permanent. It's also, he remember, health is better than attack. So that's pretty good. Swallfin. Alright. Gain plus two plus one. <laughs> I like the bit. <laughs> I like the flavor. The flavor is great. Plus two plus one for each friendly Murloc. I mean... This isn't really what Murlocs want to do, chat. Like, Murlocs want to have poison, not like... like this is pushing Murlocs in, into like a direction that Murlocs don't want to be in. I mean, it's a, it's like okay, I guess. If you have a couple of Murlocs, you can get like an 8-4. <sighs> That's not so good. It really needs more health. If this was plus 1, plus 2, I think it would be a lot better. But then again, it's only a 3-star unit, and you can buff the health later. So like, if you have this, or with Chandis or something, yeah. I, I guess it's like fine. Alright, SI7. Se Sefin. <laughs> Excuse me. So this is the new Toxifin, if so to say. Because Toxifin is so out. This gives the poison now. Give a friendly Murloc poison us permanently. Uh, so technically we get it multiple times. But you gotta keep this one safe. That's the challenge, chat. I suppose you could have like... Acolyte. Like, the Acolyte is gonna be such a key card with the events, because Acolyte is like, it's taunt and it dies twice. So yeah, but also a 5 star unit, so you get it a little later. Um, and I, I wonder if it can like, buff the same one again. We actually don't know. That's, this is a question for devs. Like, if you have a Murloc that already has poison and you have a Murloc that does not have poison, will this always buff the one that does not have poison yet? Will the unpoisoned one always get it, or will it just, like, ha randomly happen and sometimes it poisons the one that already has poison? That's actually a huge difference. We don't know. We don't know if it can, like, re-poison one that already has poison. Because it it's a lot better if it cannot rebuff. But yeah, it it's not a... It like, Murlocs overall seem, like, a lot clunkier in a way. Battlecry, make a Murloc golden. Well, well I mean... Murlocs are based on um, on battle cries, so like I guess this one is pretty good to make golden or something. Like you can make this one golden, but like battle cry, most of the good Murlocs. This is pretty bad overall, I would say. I don't like this one very much, chat, because like Murlocs work on battle cries, so like you don't get it to hand, chat. Like if you use this, the Murloc, you can't make a golden. Uh, Pakurkel and then play it for the plus four plus four. No, it just buffs it on the board. Pretty bad, pretty bad. I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of this. Mega Murloc Golden. What, is it also from Shop? I don't think so. Thank you, all my FGs, for the 22 months. Like, normally you can't battle cry units in the shop, so almost certainly not units in the shop. Oh, it doesn't say friendly. Oh! Oh, I guess it. Oh, yeah! But maybe that's just referring to the... Huh. Okay, well then it's a lot more interesting. Cora said it can go from shop. Okay, well then it's more interesting. Then it's a lot more interesting. Okay, that makes it a lot better. That makes it quite good then. Because then you get to like discover a new six drop as well when you play it. When you play the Golden Murloc, you get to discover a new six drop. So that's quite good then. Okay then. Then it's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was like pretty horrible, but that sounds good to me. All right, next one, dragons. Uh, after you upgrade your tavern tier, so this is replacing the old like the taunt two star two three. Double this minions attack. I mean, it's like pretty basic. Still not like that crazy. Like how much? I guess like buffing it early would make it go pretty high, but then like there's not that many ways to buff a dragon very early. But it holds up a little bit better, like so because dragons tend to have a weak mid game. So even maybe you like use a cop and then you buff it to two, two, two three and or two four and then then you like Hank is no longer in the game, so you don't get those buffs. But because you can only upgrade your tavern so many times, chat. 
Yeah, you don't. You kind of like want to go to six stars early. Technically, if you have like Kalegos, you know, like on t on tier five tavern, and you play lots of units, and you get this to like twenty five attack, and then you level, you get it to fifty. Maybe you have two of these. You got go from like, yeah, you know, one, two, four, eight, sixteen. So hold on, it goes to two, it goes to four, it goes to eight, sixteen. Okay, I mean, yeah. I guess you, yeah, if you just have it from the beginning. Even without buffs, I suppose. But if you pick it like halfway through, you have to buff it somehow. Well, it's definitely more interesting than the old Thorn 2 3 was. Welp Smuggler. Whenever a friendly dragon gains attack, give it plus 2 health. So obviously, these are like the dynamic duo here. So, like. If you have if you have this and you have this and then you level like this will be gaining health as it's also getting attack. And like the three star plus two plus two dragon, which maybe still is in the game, let's see. I've mentioned he's always entertaining and it is, it is. Hang only hang is removed from dragons. It's interesting, but it's not a dragon by itself, so it's like mm, it's not a dragon by itself, but that's definitely a big downside that it's not a dragon. Kalekas also gives attack. Oh, I guess so. Wait, you're telling me that if you have a Kalegos and this, you get like plus one, plus three for each battle cry? I mean, that would be pretty interesting. That might be interesting then. Okay. Arm of the Empire too. Okay, maybe I was rating this wrong. Actually, with Arm, it's pretty interesting too. Oh my god, chat, with Arm of the Empire. Okay, okay, maybe this is good. Absurd with Zitoon. Oh my god, we Katoon. But Katoon does the buffs like... Wait, hold on. It does it at the end of the... Wait. Is this gonna be broken with Katoon? It's not... Oh yeah, arm is not permanent. That's true, because it happens during the fight. How does Katoon work with the Whelp Smuggler? Because Katoon does happen on, on... Like, it's permanent. It should technically be like... If you have like full dragons and you press Katoon hero power, you get like... 20 extra health. Is this gonna be like totally broken? Is this gonna be a broken thing? Like, is this gonna be something insane? That sounds broken. With gems too. I mean, gems you are limited. Katoon is like free. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. Daregosa. We'll definitely try that out, see if it's uh, broken or not. But that, that sounds like something that would not be a good experience to play against. Like, it sounds unfair. Daregosa. Alright, this permanently keeps enchantments from combat. Wow. Okay, so if we have Arm of the Empire and we have this and then we taunt this, then it would get the permanent stuff. Was Selfless Hero out? Selfless Hero is still in, so if this gets you like a Divine Shield from Selfless, it's gonna be permanent then. Okay. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I like this, it's gonna be interesting with Spawn too, yeah. Or Shaker. Well, Shaker is not combat buff, so that's actually not gonna be... That will not work, but yeah. Selfless hero, spawn... What else can we do on this? Like, the, 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 I guess the... Wait, how did the demon work? To a friendly minion, so it does not have to be... A demon. If you make this... Okay, so chat, hear me out. So you, you Pyramid and you, you buff hero, this 10 times with hero power, then you taunt it with Defender of Arcus, and then you play it with with the dragon, and <laughs> then you get this to 800 health. Allakir, ooh, Allakir. So it's gonna get like Wind Fury. Interesting. Wind Fury, okay. Alright, anyway. It's gonna be fun to try out and see what we can do with it. Price promo trick, start of combat, give adjacent minions plus one plus start of combat. So that is important to note, chat. So anything that buffs that happen in combat are not permanent, with this exception, of course. But like if you buff if this buffs like the adjacent minions plus five plus five, those minions will not get to keep the buff unless it's Taregosa. Prestor Spider Spawn, whenever not are friendly, but it, yeah, it's like for four star five five. And I think it's replacing it's replacing the 6-6, six, six, right? Herald of Flame is gone, yeah. It's replacing the Herald of Flame, so... That, this is way spicier, for sure. 
And it counts itself, right? So at worst, it's gonna be plus one, plus one. So it's like seven, seven in a way. Seems pretty good. Prestor Spider Spawn. Whenever another friendly dragon attacks, deal three damage to this target. Four star. Okay, so the way this is, like, I, I would imagine that the three damage happens before the actual hit. So this would uh, remove Divine Shields, I believe. So that could be kind of nice. Um, the stat line, it's a little bit on the weak side, 3 and 5. Um, it's not like too fancy or anything. But yeah, I mean, it's another dragon. It, it is, once again, they removed the other... Oh, they did not remove the 3, 6, did they? It's like the 3, 6, no. I, I don't even remember the name. Okay. So this is just, it's just an extra dragon at 4 stars then. I mean, I'll try it out. It's hard to evaluate. And in some matchups, it will be better than in others. And like, if you're against like spores or something, if there's like the spores, you, you just play him can on those. The spores are still still in. It has to be a dragon, so you can't like hide attack like with a hydra and then deal like flame damage to everything. That doesn't work. But it is pretty cool if you have like, let's say you have an Amalgadon with poison. If you have like divine shield Amalgadon with poison, you can have that, and then it always like penetrates the. Divine Shield first, and then it kills the target with the poison, right? If you have Divine Shield, Wind Fury, Amalgadon with this, then it will always like kill two targets, no matter what they are. Um, pirates! Oh wait, is it when- oh yeah, when it attacks. I was like, does Whelp like remove the shield? Does it deal extra damage? But it's when it attacks, so not when it deals damage. Alright, just making sure. Alright, Pirates! So dragons are looking good. The, the only ones that are like... The, the Murlocs look a little sus, like... I don't know, like... Murlocs lo actually lost some stuff too. With Toxifin. And this is gonna be clumsy. And this is not like... This will be... We will have to play with this to see how good it is. It might be OP or something, I don't know. Swolfin, not the type of... Like, Murlocs are the only tribe that so far has not, like... Impressed me super much. Like, dragons are way more interesting. Murlocs... Uh, sorry, um... Um, the uh, mechs were more interesting. Beasts were like huge upgrades all around. Demons, huge upgrades. Murlocs are the only one that seems you know, unimpressive so far. Pirates. Um, after you upgrade the tavern tier, add a random pirate to Bob's tavern. Mm. Wait, why is this a 4 8? That makes no sense. <laughs> it's probably like. It's probably gonna be a 6 8. Or this is gonna be a 2 4. We don't know which one is right. I'm gonna assume that the 3-4 is correct. And this golden version is right. Sorry, it's wrong. I'm gonna assume that the golden version is wrong, so... So let's say this is a 3-4, three, three, and uh, this is gonna be a 6-8. It's not that great, like, you random, you, you don't add a pirate from that tier. It's gonna be random, so you can get, like, a useless 1-star. The biggest problem, though, is that it's not a pirate by itself. It's it's not like totally useless, and if you're playing like with patches and you, it's, you don't you don't level up that often. Like you're gonna go to three, four, five, and maybe to six. Leveling to two won't matter because you won't have this before you're at two. So you get like you get like a couple of extra pirates to appear in the shop, but it's not a pirate by itself, so you can't buff it. Pretty underwhelming, I have to say. I have to say this is very underwhelming. So you can get the useless pirates too often. And you don't upgrade that many times. I, I would not like really... There might be a specific chance like or opportunity where you like... You get this on turn 3. And it kind of makes sense for you. But you should most of the time you should just avoid this. Like it's it seems pretty trash to me. I wish it was pirate itself. Then it would be interesting. But this is just not it. Briny bootlegger. Alright. Tier 3. Pirate. Uh, at the end of your turn, if you have another pirate, add a gold coin. Okay, this is spicy. Um, so it's kind of like the death rattle was like with the 3-3 tree -tree when it dies. But this is more reliable. It also has better stats. And it has a tribe. So if you have like two of these, if you just have two briny bootleggers, they're gonna like make the coin from each other, right? The fact that this one does have a tribe, you can buff it. Um... I like it. I like this one. I like this one, chat. Even you can hold it temporarily, or you can like. It just it supports everything. It's another spicy three star now, cause like it it's felt that pirates don't have that many units that you really want to have early on. Like you want to have like salty looter, and you want to have you want to have the hawker as fast as possible. But this is now gonna be if you are playing patches, for example, 
whenever you get this, it's just like, you're gonna permanently, you, see, you don't need to sell this. Like, pirates have room oftentimes. Or is Hawker out? Let's see. Hawker is not out. Nat Bagel is, and Seabreaker Goliath is. So the other five stars are. This is nice. This is nice. This gives you a reason to like play pirates, and you can buff it further, so you can also keep it until the end, potentially, or a long time. Oftentimes you have some pirate buffers. Yeah. I don't know if I would buy this in like known pirate matchup or lineup. Maybe temporarily. You see this and you see like another okay-ish like pirate and you'll have it for a little while. But um, if you're wearing patches or something, it's just, it's really nice. Two extra gold to them. And golden version, if you get like golden and a normal or two goldens, well, okay. Let's not go there. Cool unit though. Peggy Brittle Bone. So this is a tier 5 pirate. After a card is added to your hand. Add the gold coin. Chat. It doesn't have to be a unit. It can be a it can be money. Um We can also add like blood gems, right? We can add blood gems to our hand. Um what else? We can add bananas that can be added to our hand. Uh if you're playing patches, like the, what the hero power says is add a pirate to your hand. So yeah, that's also a thing. The five tree stat line is not like that great out of the gates, but I, I guess you can get this pretty fast, like in some situations. You will buff a random pirate, however, so it has like a little bit of that, you know, like the little Ragnaros syndrome, where you might like just like buff a unit that you're gonna sell anyway, or you like buff it's it's just like. Sometimes it might kind of fizzle. Also, buffing pirates is not as valuable as, let's say, like buffing something with divine shield or buffing, buffing a cleave, because none of none of the pirates have any of those abilities. But I mean, it's pretty fair. Like it, it, the, the, sometimes you just have units that generate stuff for free. So like, if you already have like unit that makes you two gems a turn, like you have the bonker or something, it's just a nice bonus. And like, if you make a golden one. Like, th these are both pretty good. It's just, it fits there, because, like, I, I was mentioning a little bit earlier, but pirates don't have that many units that you want to keep. That's kind of the main problem. You want, you want Salty Looter, you keep Salty Looter. You want Hawker, you keep Hawker. And then just, you just have, like, a lot of free space, and you, like, it, it can be any pirates, almost. Like, not the other ones are, like, so having things that, like, kind of help you scale, and this does help you scale. So, yeah, I mean, it's all right. It's, it's, this isn't, like, too fancy, but it's all right. Tony Two Tusk. Avenge five. Make a, another friendly pirate golden permanently. Ooh, I mean, hmm. I need to think about this. I mean, if you like golden a hawk car with this, you golden a salty looter with this. You golden. It's also like because you can have this happen multiple times. Like not 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 in the same turn necessarily. Like that's pretty hard to pull off. Maybe with the 2-1. Is the 2-1 still in? It is. So with the 2-1, because that dies twice, right? So there are like some pirate units that help you use this. Avenge 5. You would think Gold Grubber, but I'm actually not so sure about Gold Grubber. I'm thinking more like Salty Looter, Briny Bootlegger. It's just, how do you keep this safe until 5 units die? But five is also that it's only from like allied units, right? So if your opponent's stuff dies, you don't get anything, right? After friendly minions die, yeah, that's right. Uh, it seems a little sketchy. It seems like a fun card, but I think it, it's gonna have to prove itself in uh, in the game. It's gonna to me to me it's gonna have to show that it can do this. Like maybe you can have like the acolyte of Nozot, and you have the. I keep forgetting the name. The two one with the what's the name of the two one chat? Help me out. Scallywag, yeah. Maybe you have a Scallywag and you have like Acolyte of Gatoon and then you can just make a golden hawker where you like guaranteed get golden hawker. Like maybe it has some amazing uses like that. You can like force the golden on, on units that are really valuable with it. Like making golden hawker, that can be like a game winning move, but it's just I'm gonna have to just see that this actually like works. Like it's not, it's not like, yeah. I mean, five is just so much. It seems so unreliable in so many ways. It might die before the event happens. It might make a wrong unit golden. 
it's a five star, so you don't get it early. It just feels like there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And then, like, even if you get it off, it's not like you're gonna win immediately. How about this? No Saluter! Well, obviously, this is like a combo. You can try to get a call and no Saluter or something. Tier 6 Pirate. Every two turns, add a random golden minion to your hand. Every two turns. Okay, I mean... The golden unit chat, completely random golden minion. That's like... On average, it's actually not that good. Sometimes you get those YouTube moments. This is like a YouTuber's dream. Hello, right here. This is going to be amazing. Like, cause sometimes you get a good golden unit, but most of the times you get a bad one. And the chat, yep, you, you nailed it, chat. You nailed it, chat. The discover. The discover is the key part of it. Because you get to discover a new six drop. That is absolutely true. That's that's true. That is a big deal about it. So every two turns you get a new six drop. Which gives you more chance to get those Amalcadons and stuff. But let's say that you, you get this early. You get it on turn 8. So then you would get like... On turn 10 you would get a new discover. Okay, that's gonna happen. You're probably good for that. But it doesn't fight that well. So you might like lose a round if you choose this instead of something stronger. Turn 12 you will get another one. It's a bit of a stretch, you survive to turn 12, and then like, it's an extra 6 drop. It's, it doesn't seem OP, that's what I will sell right, say right now. But like, it's, it gets pretty interesting if you have like, Tony 2 Tusk, you can often have this. If you can put like, Tony 2 Tusk and Nose Looter in your last two spots. I see a combo here, chat, where I, we have those Scallywag, we have Acolyte, and then we have exactly these two, and no other pirates. And then you get a golden nosy looter, and then just you start like jamming those golden units every. Oh my god. I don't know if this is good, but it's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be so much fun, chat. Oh my god. I don't know if it's good. Pirates are like, they go in the. I don't know what is going on by like bucket. Like, I, this is the tribe that's the hardest to like evaluate. I feel like beasts and like. Mix and dragons even like they just got stronger like the boring bad units are out and th th That does apply like boring bad units are out for like pirates too, but the pirate units are like they look like more fun than good They might be good too but This looks this looks really fun chat like this this stuff is like both of these units even this I don't know what the, I, I wish this was a pirate like if it was a pirate it would be great. It's just not this looks so spicy. Cascavel, thank you for 24 months. We're gonna be playing it some, trying some of this stuff out tomorrow, chat. Alright, let's move on to Elementals. I believe that's gonna be the last tribe, and then we have the Neutrals. A smogger. Um, give a friendly Elemental stats equal to your Tavern tier. So I believe this one is uh, replacing the Arcane... Uh, assistant, that's right. So instead of buffing everyone plus one plus one, we'll be able to buff one that we want to buff the most. Okay, I mean that's nice when you have the divine shield. It only buffs elements. Thank, thank you, Gasko. Thank you. And Hela Eki, thank you for the 14 months. Welcome back. Uh, I mean it seems it's like it's pretty good, I guess. Like three star, so you get it fairly early. You obviously want to buff the Divine Shield. I don't think there's anyone else that's like super valuable to buff. Maybe you can buff this one. What the heck is this? This is like a Nomi effect. Oh my god. This is so much fun. Maybe you'll buff this so it lives longer. Avenge 2. Elementals in Bob's Tavern have plus one, plus one for the... Oh my god. Oh, I love playing Nomi and this last the Nomi effect, but it's on a separate unit. So you will have like more. And it, you get it earlier because it's a four star. And remember chat, the Avenge effect, so that was when friendly minions die, so when two friendly minions die, we get a Nomi proc, basically. Nomi proc happens whenever two friendly minions die. You wanna keep this one safe? Sometimes it might get hit early. But with just like one Acolyte of Nozot, you can kinda like secure that it, it will, you will get at least some value. I think it's totally realistic that you might get like even three procs from this. Two, two procs or three procs from this. 
You can buff it to make it... Oh man, that's so spicy. Like, the Nomi strategies have fallen a little bit off, chat. And like, I don't know if the Dazzling Light Spawn by itself is like... You can... Can you play it instead of Nomi? I don't think so. This is like mostly good if you have Nomi and this. But what if you never get a Nomi after you have this? You're just gonna have like... Kind of like, maybe like a worse Nomi game. But then again, like, if you compare this to Nomi, with Nomi you have to spend gold, 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 gold. This will get you the buffs for free. You don't need to pay anything. It doesn't need to be elementals that die either. You can have, like, a menagerie, and you play this as your elemental. And then you get, like, three Nomi procs a turn, and you just ha ha get an Amalcadon later or something. Oh my god. I think we need to, like, think outside the box a little bit here. I think this will fit in non-full elemental comps better than you might at first think. I just... You can just add in one elemental later. You're gonna get an Amalgadon with some buffs. Like, it doesn't require that elementals die. It's not elemental avenge, it's just avenge. Very, very interesting unit and I think, I suspect that it's gonna be... <sighs> mm, I mean, you could, you could also argue that like... If you don't get enough buffs, like, it's worthless to buff the elementals in the shop, right? Let's say you buff all the elementals in the shop, like, 13, 13. Like, those are still not that good. Until you're golden, of course. Because if you get, like, if you get, like, 3, go, three um, 15, 15s and you triple it, that's got 45, 45. So that's, that gets pretty good. This is spicy. I want to play it. Chat, I, wanna, I just want to try it out. It's everything that I like in a god, basically. Huge fan. We'll see how good it is. Recycling rate. After you play an elemental, next refresh costs zero. Okay. I mean, you basically make money from Celemental with this then. Because Celemental, you pay three gold and then you get two gold back. So then you only pay one gold, but you get two free rolls. I mean, this helps you go off with the Nomi strategy. It really seems that, like, Elementals are getting, like... Th here's support for Nomi, basically. This is, like, this screams... Hello! Play no Nomi is better now! Nomi is better! Like, Nomi strategies are more viable, these two units. And the truth is, Nomi needed help. There's also buffs for other tribes. Nomi was already... Nomi strats were already a little bit, like... Not that competitive, I would say, in the, in the previous patch. It was already, like, a little bit not that competitive. And now other tribes got buffs, so Nomi strategies definitely needed these units. Uh, is it gonna be, like, is Nomi strategy, which is, I'm just gonna call it, like, Nomi strat, like, you know, which is buffing the Bob Staver and units. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be viable? Like, it's impossible to tell. There's so many changes happening, but it's definitely gonna be better. Alright, Master of Realities. After a friendly elemental gain stats, gain plus one, plus one. Uh, so this is replacing... Uh, Gar. It's not that exciting. It's, it's not very exciting. This is probably the least exciting six star that was added. Um, it might be like... like the, I was talking about a little bit. This the new hero power. It's probably going to be pretty good. With the, one of the new heroes. Hold on. Like the Karyal Rome, if you're playing like full elementals, because you're gonna give f five random friendly minus plus one plus one, so that's also gonna get like plus, plus five plus five from that, or plus four plus four because it copies the ones on the other units. But I don't know, like it's stone that you can't give it divine shield. Like at best, it's gonna be like a bit of like a chunk, chunky like taunt unit. It's um. It, it's gonna be better with some heroes than other heroes. And with like, yeah, sure, with like blood gems. But then we can think about the, then we can think about the other blood gem unit, like the quill bore with blood gem. How good is the four star quill bore? Like it's just, it's not like that crazy. Molten rock party elemental. Okay, okay. Well, I mean those units. Okay. So if you have like two two parties or something, I just I'm still not convinced that I want to have a party at the end of the game. Like, do I want to keep around? Party Elementals and Molten Rocks. I don't think I want to do it just for this. 
I think those units are still too bad. You want to have like the five star, four star elementals. Like you just you don't want to play the party and the rock. You know, there's a there's a time for party rock, and that's either at parties or it's on like round five when you can't have big units. It's just not in late game. All right. Body rock! Yeah, okay, we'll give it a chance, Just I'm gonna try to keep an open mind. I'll try to see if we can play this, but it is the least exciting new six star that I've seen so far. Alright, James Splitter. They might also, like, I'll just go ahead and admit, there's probably some, like, synergies that I'm just missing here. Like, maybe something is just, like, way better. Or, like, oh, like, this works so well with not just gems, but blah, blah, blah. Like, maybe there are some ways. I don't know, like, Charlka or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Quillbor, James Bleeder, Charlga Char and Akkem. But it doesn't even have a tribe by itself. Ugh. Ugh, it's not an elemental. Alright, James Bleeder. Tier 3 Quillbor. After a friendly minion loses Divine Shield, gain a Blood Gem. Okay, okay. So you can play this with mechs, right? If you have like, or, or some kind of menagerie. If you have like Akkem menagerie. Because like menagerie strats usually want to have lots of Divine Shields, right? So you have like Bronze Warden, Deflectobot. And then you have like Akkem, so you could get like three extra gems or even more from this, maybe. If you have the golden version, you can just get like six gems or something. Or in early game, like 2 4 is a little bit on the weak side, but I mean. Yeah. It's gem production. What, what did they take out for this one? Let's see. Three star. Is there any like uh, Torn Caller? Okay, so Torn Caller was always getting you like one as Battle Cry, and then you get like one. Okay, it is more interesting than Torn Caller, but you have to like have some miniature stuff because like just by Quillbor alone, I, I think you only have like the four, three, Tough Task. Yeah, Tough Task, but it's like it's just it's not, it's not enough, I think. But it, it feeds Blood Task. That's Tough Task. Excuse me. So it will give your tough task one each turn. I guess that's something. Okay. Here we go. Neutral. I am excited about this one, chat. Avenge. Give adjacent minions plus two plus one permanently. So you get a permanent like plus four plus two. But this is a weak unit. Like it doesn't have a tribe by itself. It might die. It might die early. It might get hit before three units die. But with, with like Acolyte of Nazoth, like you should be able to avenge three times. But there's some like other consider some interesting stuff because like if you only have one unit on the right side of green thumb there's a chance that that unit dies okay let's think about it again if you have two units on the right side of green thumb even if you have seven units there's only gonna be four that i like before this so like you wouldn't get multiple because you want to have it like not attack at all right because it's not really a fighter but then again, like, you can't have it be last because you want to, like... But it's only a 3-star chat, so you can get it pretty early. <laughs> Going back to, like, Scallywag and Acolyte of Nozot for all of these, chat. Scallywag and Acolyte of Nozot, those are going to be the superstars of this event mechanics. Maybe Micro Mummy too, we'll see. We'll be good with Greybow, oh man. We'll see. But I'm excited for this unit, for sure. I will be trying this out. Like, getting permanent buffs gets a thumb up for me. Witch Wing Nest Matron. Okay, another adventure. Add a random battle cry minion to your hand. Oh boy. That is good. That has to be good, right? Because battle cries do something immediately. So you get the one gold when you sell it. It's like Avenge 3, gain 1 gold and an effect of some sort. And, it, and the unit might even be like... Really strong. Like it might be something like... Some of the best units in the game are, are Battlecry units, right? And like Mox and Jox and like, you know... Mox and Jox are still in, right? They are. Amalgadon, yeah, but I, I I assume that you have to be at six star tavern to be able to get Amalgadon, because that's how how most mechanics with gaining random units happen. Oh, and like Defender of Arcus too. Good for Menagerie. This seems really really good. 
I mean, I'm not gonna call for like nerfs yet. It's too early. It's only three five. It might die. It might get sniped. You know. But this seems so strong to me. Argus is going to be MVP to the event. Yeah, Argus is going to be really good. Argus and like these type. You might even get two battle crash then. This this might be super nuts. If you get like one jug, it's just like plus six, plus six, and you get the one gold when you sell it for like no cost. This might get bumped to like five stars. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it out there. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but like four stars for this sounds a little early, maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. We'll see. Update the minion, Arm of the Empire. Ooh, this changes everything. Okay, I will never buy arm again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. All right, chat. It's, it's, uh, yeah. But four or five, it was like, it was, I think it was fighting a little bit too well. I think this is a good change. It's completely unplayable. No, 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 no. 4-5, like, I don't know why it was 4-5 to begin with, because, like, that's above the stat line of 3-star, and it had a good ability. It's a good change, but honestly, like, there's not that much to say. There's not that much to say, chat. It could be pretty cool with, like, with some of the, like, dragons, or that gain the permanent stats, and we'll see. Fragility, thank you for the prime. Sweet. Any like final comments on about? And I have nothing to say about these one stars that got removed. Back leader was quite good, but the, there's like a new play style now with the with the beasts. I'm super bullish for the beasts. Not gonna miss any of these. I'm like, is there a unit that I'm gonna miss? Mutrax is gone. Okay, so now it's just light fang for that. That's pretty big. That's worth noticing. Sneeds, bye bye. Don't care. It was like mega RNG. Faceless Tavern go gone. Oh, you know what, chat? The snake is gonna... Yeah, Toxivin. Toxivin is definitely notable. But there was the new Toxivin type of unit that's clunkier. Um, but I, but I was gonna say something. I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. With the snake. With Coiler now. With the Avenge mechanics, chat. <laughs> My favorite. With the Avenge mechanic, it's gonna be uh, pretty interesting. Like, what if you get a coiler and this somehow leaves and you get, like, some crazy stuff? Oh, yeah, boat is gone, by the way. So there's two things. I, I wanted to just... This is kind of, like, not that important for the overall thing, but I just wanted to point it out that Tide Racer and Sneeds, two of the, like, clowniest RNG units in the game are gone. Sure, coiler is still in, but you can't get a boat from a coiler anymore. So I'm actually kind of, like, low-key. I'm, I'm pretty excited, like, happy about this change. I think these units were adding to like unnecessary RNG in the game. That's just not not required for like enjoyment of the game, you know? So that's pretty sweet. Woo! How long? Oh my god, it's like an hour long. I talk about this for an hour, chat. Jeez. Um, tomorrow we're gonna be doing a long stream. It should be a good time. Probably a long stream. Uh, I might even start a little earlier. 